Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shalindo, and today we're playing some more Crusader Kings 2. So, I've got a plan, and while I raise my troops over here, I'll tell you about my plan. We're currently in a crusade versus the Azimids, and they're being quite the thorn in my side because they keep taking Jerusalem from us. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to let my troops regenerate, and as soon as they regenerate, I'm going to, if we're still at war with them, I'm going to go after them. If we are not at war with them, I'm going to make sure that I max out my troops, and then we're going to wait for the truce to expire if there's a truce, and then we're going to declare war on them. And we're going to crush them into tiny, 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 tiny little bits. That's all. That That's the plan. There you go. You know the plan. Um, so, yeah. Are you sieging? Yeah, you're sieging over there. They're also sieging over in Spain, which we're, we're going to get rid of the Spain siege right now. Okay. Get everybody in here. Bring it in, guys. Bring it in. Group hug on three, two, one, go. There we go. Group hug. And then best generals in the business. Go smashy smashy these people. Okay. And he's running and he's caught. Don't make me re-siege my own area, please. Okay, and back to the beginning. Okay, that, that felt good. I, it felt good to be able to take my frustration out on a little army like that. Go away. Banish. Drop the armies. Military, we have 97k out of 168k. When that gets to closer to 168k, we're going to do this again. Where's, where's their main forces? Where's that 45, 50,000 army troop that was... Oh, they're chasing around our allies out here. They're, they're going after the Teutonic Order and everything. Well, if we get there in time, we are going to smash them really, really hard. Everyone's joining our side now, of course, now that we're losing. Okay, army, 111,000. 13, 14, 15. You can see it's going up pretty quick. 17, 18. Sorry for all the clicking. Just a good way to update those numbers. I feel like it's go time. I don't think I need to wait too much longer here. Yep, go time. Um, we're going to raise everybody. And we're going to try to take back what's ours. You guys all need to go... Oh, where did we decide was the best place? Thraki? Thrake? Thrake? However you pronounce that. And the other one was over here. You know, it'd be a lot smarter if I actually just looked at the um, diplomatic view and just chose the right place to raise everything. But that'd be a lot easier if I didn't make a billion kings. If I had like four kings, this would be a lot easier to manage in this way. Okay, you're gonna not not Provence. That was a that was a mistake last time. Genoa is where we're meeting. And you guys in England just kind of you know meet in Kent or something. Or Gwynedd. 
And we'll be patient. We'll wait till they all gather up. And we'll try to get across there before we lose this war. Maybe too late by then, but it'll be okay. Man, they are sieging quite fast. Yeah, that army's toast. Go ahead and dismiss that army. Call all allies. Calling all allies. You guys get down here and get to work. Oh, I'm sick again. Of course, I'm always sick. I'm very sickly. I forgot the boats. Boats are important when you're trying to get across the ocean. Let's get let's let's go to the direct vassal view. Get up my boats. And then An Anatolia's boats. Boats? Boats. Anatolia's boats. It's a different thing than boats. Get up your boats. Boats. <laughs> Words. Your boats and your boats. And we're gonna get up Italy's boats over here. That'll be enough for most of these people. Also Provence. Send them there. Pannonia, you can get up your boats over here. Whoa. You're almost a landlocked country over here. Even though your main area is over here. France and Frisia can probably support... Or England. England has a lot of boats. Have them pick up their own people. Let's get down there. Make something happen. Who is... Court Chaplain is the one who passed away. Has put another the Court Chaplain on there. Not really paying attention to the religious view very much, but probably should keep them working on that. Come on, get there. Thank you. Show up down here. Pick up more people. Split the army so it doesn't suffer attrition constantly. Come on. Got to get over there quick, pretty quick, guys. Auto save, you're not helping right now. Another person wants to join. Everyone wants to join all of a sudden. I doubt we can actually turn the tide at this point. Merge. Change over to... Move to there? No. Well... No. Pisa. And you move to Pisa. You move to Luca. Last of the troops are showing up now, so you can get them all on the boats now. Yes, join. Do I need more boats than that? Please tell me I don't. Hmm. Sicily, can you help us out here? Yes, you can. Get over there and pick up the rest of our people. They're sieging pretty heavily now. Merge. Oh, come on. Merge. Come on, the boats. Okay. You show up there. You stop suffering attrition damage. That's just not helping at this point. 
It's a bad idea. Merge. Get him on the boats. Okay, everybody. Get down here. Maybe we can at least win some battles. Teutonic Order is still coming down from the north, so they're doing a good job up there. Nope, oh, somebody. Somebody's leaving to take over. Uanum. Uanan. Wherever that is. Okay, let's do a little mergey thing here. We got 128,000 troops. Oops, I merged them all into one. Hmm. That was a mistake. Can't, can't unmerge them now. It's too late. Split off retinues. Yeah, let's split off the retinues because we don't want to send our retinues in. I probably lost a lot of retinues by uh, attrition, didn't I? Oh, I did. Ah. <sighs> Uh, okay. Not gonna lose the rest of them. Rest of them are going back home. They're my rebellion deterrent. Yeah, you guys were bad. You should not be here. Drop you off in a thin eye. A thinny eye. Okay, we won that. I should have split those off. Hold on a second. Where are my... Where are my retinues? Ah. I guess we are going to smash our retinues here. That would be bad. Would be very bad. We're getting them back on the boats. Disaster! Seriously. All clicking around like crazy here. Where is the retinue? The retinue's there. Need you back on boats. Okay, so you are right there. You're stuck in the middle of the ocean for some reason. That is weird. Okay, you guys need to not take attrition. So... You guys split. Send half here, half into battle there. There's my retinue still. Why are they there? Let's send them to Ascalon and then we can get them on the boats again. You're there. We're just going to sweep up the coast here. Best generals in charge. Okay, there's the retinues. Send them home. over here so they can pick up any troops if they need to. Interesting. Where's their main army? Let's um let's spread out here. I want to siege there and siege there. We're going to put a supporting army there. And we're going to hold on to this area. If we can re-siege this stuff, we might be able to turn this around. So that's what we're going to do. We'll wait for their main army, have one big battle, and that'll be it. No attrition. No worrying about anything. Just waiting for them to show up. 
Does he have a ticking war score? He does not. He's just sieging. If I can get back some of this stuff, I can turn this around. Okay, so now we wait. We wait for his main battle army to show up. So Jerusalem, I need to siege two. Ascalon, I need to siege two. And I think up here they're sieging Safed. They got one, two there as well. Yes, you can join. Hopefully my allies will be able to help distract them some at least. Siege of Ascalon. Okay. Got one back. Righteous imprisonment. King Lupus. No, he's a Gandalfingy. We can leave him in charge. Here comes one of their big armies, 12,000 men. Are you guys, I hope, I really hope you guys are going broke doing this. Not really. 30, 36,000. So you, so they have worn themselves down a lot. They had, they normally have like 100,000 men. They only have 36,000. This might, it's actually starting to look better than I thought it would. Nikaya has been converted. Hello. Means we can move this, this guy. We are going to defend Jerusalem. It's going to happen. They can't take us down. Just got to keep an eye on everything. Watch for any huge armies showing up. Calling all allies, letting everybody join. Okay, I think we re-sieged everything, so everything is safe. Let's look at some supply limits up here. 53, 7, 34, 34, 1. What's Safed? Safed is 15. So we could probably sneak up this way into Tyrus and Acre, attack Safed, and siege that with support from Tyrus and Acre. So let's do that. Uh, our biggest army should probably be on Tyrus for support. And we're going to have another army that's going to march through Acre, through Tyrus, and then attack Safed. We're going to have another army sitting in Acre to support the flanks. What about this one? Can I actually attack that one as well? Yes, I can. Let's, uh, let's plan this out. So let's get over there and smash those armies. Allies. Okay, more allies. Just keep getting more allies. Another guy wants to get some place. Nordland. Wherever Nordland is. I'm guessing it's the land of the Nords. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth time. I'm going to have this army also attack there. This army have good leaders? It pretty much does, yeah. This army has good leaders. Smash them. There we go. Safed, I just took away Safed's supporting army. Right there. So he's running away. King Polycarpos of Jerusalem. Oh, it looks like the, uh, the King Nicephorus Usurper passed away. He is, uh... He's now the new king, and he's four years old. <laughs> Let's hope he stays the king, shall we? Oh, you should be moving up to Tyrus, I think. Or should you wait? No, you should move up to there. This army can come back to Tyrus. Yeah, you're coming back to Tyrus. You're going to have to get smaller to stay there. So you should be there, and you should be in Acre. Let's back this off a little bit. Yes, another ally. Uh, this is quite the endeavor, guys. Trying to hold on to this place. A 
We got people trying to siege some down here. I'll have to go sweep down and smash them later on once we get Safed back. Our retinues were, were, uh, got back, but they lost like 20,000 men in the attrition that I did not anticipate. Looks like some of our al <laughs> a couple allies here or there are showing up. Sieging a couple places. Yeah, they better come to the, you know, protection of the main army or they're smashed over there. This is a big war. Look at this. Look at how many allies on that side and look how many allies on this side. They're all moving armies, which explains the huge amount of lag I'm experiencing right now. Got him back down to 35%. Just got to get control of Safed, Banyas, and Kinsellis, where those So those three. Those are the only three he has left. And then I just got to... I'll, I'll be getting a ticking war score at that point, And we'll start to bring this war towards a conclusion, hopefully. So, yeah. Uh, th this will continue into the next episode. Um, hopefully I'll be able to defend Jerusalem, keep it, and, uh, you know win this war, and then turn it around and start smashing the Amazids so that they can't cause any more trouble in the future. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. You watched to the end, which means you absolutely rock. Um, and uh, feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, keep it clean.